Hello model riveters and fellow YouTubers. My name is Darren and I hope you're having a great day. The Atlas Snap Switch. I've used them for years and have had real good success with them. And with any mass produced item, every now and then you'll have one that slips through and, and is not a real good quality switch. And this is mainly talking about the electrical continuity of them and not the mechanical aspect. And so I don't have an Atlas switch here in front of me, so I had to draw a diagram here and just kind of bear with me for the, the crudity and roughness of it. But And you can use this with any switch, not just Atlas. And you can see here, I've got the switch points and the hinge points for the rails and my insulation gaps. And some of the issues you have is, is just not the, the, the middle rails here, uh, either your nose point, hinge point, uh, turning points rather, and uh, your other rails between the hinge points and the frogs right here, and then the uh, trailing points, um, the trailing inner rails there that would be after your frog. There, there you go. <laughs> and um, these are the ones you want to check these are the ones you're going to have issues with. Uh, the ones that I've always had issues with have mainly been the ones after the frog. And so you can check these with a LED light or ohm meter or a regular light bulb, a 12 volt light bulb rather, and just check to make sure that you got power going to it. Uh, the, uh, a lot of times with the insulations there between the the main line and or siding that feeds in from the back side of your switch uh, being insulated uh, you have an issue with no electrical going through the frog or passing the frog from your lead inside so if you just check your uh, power coming in to the rails uh, make sure that you got continuity and th I've done some things of like doing this right here of running jumper wires over from the solid rail outside over into your trailing uh, after the frog rails there and same with your inner rails I've had to do that a few times and once you've done this usually your nose point sliding rails are, are not too much of a issue and so I hope this helps and have a great day